Okay, so um, we're trying to find where this function is, um, we're looking for the zeros and where it's undefined. Now, um, to make it a little easier for us to, to do that, what I wanna do is I wanna rewrite it. Instead of uh, cosecant, uh, cosecant squared, I wanna write it as um, one over so cosecant, remember, is 1 over sine. So this is going to be um, 1 over 2 sine squared of t over 2. And let me put the 1 over here in the, in the center of the fraction. OK, so I'm trying to solve, find the zeros. Um, but also. Um, I want to know where uh, this guy is undefined. Now, um, it's undefined when uh, this denominator here is equal to 0, right? Because you can't uh, divide by 0. So the first question is, uh, where is sine, sine squared of t over 2, or 2 sine squared t over 2, equal to 0? Okay, well, um, we don't really need to worry about the uh, two there because um, you know that's not going to affect. So basically, and the squared also isn't affecting this at all either. We're basically looking for where is sine of uh, t over two equal to zero. Okay, so let's think about our uh, unit circle here for a minute. Um, so we know that, so let me draw the unit circle here. Okay. So we know that a uh, sign on the unit circle is the Y value. So it's going to be zero right here. It's going to be zero right here. And this is pi. And then of course, two pi and uh, three pi and so on and so forth. So, um, but now the issue here, though, is that we have t over 2. So um, what we're going to say is that, here, let's put it right here. Undef it's undefined when um, t over 2 is equal to, so let's write that down. This is either 0 or pi or 2 pi and so on and so forth. And then also, you know, we have negative pi, negative two pi. So I'm gonna write this as um, k. So if t over two is equal to k, k times pi, where k is a integer. So positive or a negative number. Okay, so what that means is that t would have to equal to, if you multiply by 2, you would get 2k pi, where k is an integer. So this means that, you know, we've got, for example, at, um, it's going to be 0 at uh, 0, and it's going to be 0 at um, 2 pi, and at 4 pi, and at 6 pi, and so on and so forth. So that's for uh, t. Okay, so that's when it's undefined. Um, now, the zeros, so for that, we need to do a little bit more work. Okay, so um, we've got this guy right here, and um, so now that we've gotten those guys out of the way, um, let's, let's try to solve um, this guy for zero. So the first thing what I would want to do is uh, get rid of the fraction. So why don't we just multiply both sides by, um, we're going to multiply both sides by 2 sine squared of t over 2. So if I do that, um, on the right side, I'm going to get 0. And on the left side, when I distribute this guy, I'm going to get uh, 2 sine squared of t over 2 minus 1. Right? 
because here this guy is going to cancel and so we're going to be left with just one and then two times this times one is just um, that guy. Okay, now let's continue. So uh, to solve this, I'll move the, uh, move the one over and then move the uh, two over. So then I have um, sine squared of t over two is equal to positive one half. Okay, so now the question is, hmm, well, where does uh, sine squared equal to one half? And actually, let me um, do it a little bit. Let's get rid of the squared here. So I'm gonna get rid of the squared by getting the square root of both sides. But remember, it's plus or minus. So we wanna know when is sine of t over two equal to uh, positive one over root two or negative one over square root of two. Okay. Now um, to do this, well, let's first go back to our uh, unit circle. Um, I know that sine is uh, to equal to one over root two or negative one over root two. The reference angle is going to be pi over four. Okay, and so it's equal to um, positive uh, one over root two right here. It's equal to positive one over root two right here and then right here and then right here. So no matter if you go in the positive direction or the negative direction, um, that's what it is. So um, if I, you know, just kind of write these, write some numbers down, I would say that t over two would have to equal to, you know, for example, pi over. If I go in the positive uh, direction, I would land at pi over four. The next one would be three pi over four. The next one would be five pi over four. The next one would be, well, seven pi over four. Let me just not write that. I'll just put little dots. But also, you know, all the negatives. So if I go in the other direction, I would have negative pi over four, negative three pi over four, um, negative seven pi over four. Okay, so if I write this down for uh, the general case, I would say that this is equal to 2k plus one pi all over four, where k is an integer. So, you know, these are all the odds, and then times pi over four. And if you're, you know, not sure about that, um, you know, just try plugging in zero and one and two and three and negative one, negative two, you'll see you get exactly these guys. Okay, and then the last thing you would want to do is uh, multiply by uh, two to get rid of this two here. And then, so then what you would get is t is equal to two k plus one times pi over two, because these guys cancel, or reduce, sorry. Where k is an integer. And uh, so that's it. We found where the um, zeros are, and we found where um, this function is undefined.